Hi everyone, welcome back to the Capacities YouTube channel. I'm here today with another video about AI in Capacities because we have just given two properties an update in terms of AI. What we've now got is AI autofill for your tags and AI autofill for your select properties. So I'm going to show you these features in action today so you can see how they could be useful for your workflows. Now, before I start looking at these, just to remind you that AI features are for pro and believer users only, but they are entirely opt-in. If you haven't opted into the AI assistant yet, you can do so in your settings. And once you have, everything that I say in this video will be relevant to you. I'm here in one of my book objects, and as people often do in capacities, it might be time to add some tags. But if you have these AI features enabled, now, whenever you click on a tag, you have the option to add them yourself as normal or to click on this button and AI will add them for you. Now, what's very important to note is that it only ever uses your existing tags. We're not creating a library of tags based on, on nothing. We are using the context of whatever is in this object and finding relevant tags from your existing tags. Now, three of the four here make perfect sense to me, so I'll keep those. I don't think archive is necessarily needed, so I'll, I'll get rid of that. But essentially, it helps you use your tags faster, and it just means less thinking on your part, and all you have to do is review the tags rather than remember them and apply them. This works with any tags uh, anywhere. So it works, as you can see, in the table view as well, you just click fill and it's there. So anywhere you see tags, this is an option. And if you want to add more tags, you can use AI then as well. And we've applied this exact same idea of only using your content to resurface relevant things with the select properties too, which now have AI autofill if you'd like. So what I mean by that is, for example, in my book object type, I have an author property and that author property is connected to my person object type. And typically, of course, I just open this and choose the author. But if you open up your property settings, any property settings can be accessed with those six dots and click settings there. You'll now see just above where you configure a select property, this AI autofill section. So if you toggle that on, that's going to give you this fill button. And if I click that, the author is filled in. I've also applied this to my country property. So I can click fill and it uses the countries I have existing in capacities already to fill in this information for me. And that just takes away essentially thinking time for me. It takes away a task. All I need to do is click the button and have everything filled in. If for whatever reason you're not getting accurate responses from the AI assistant, there is an option in each of these select properties to add additional instructions. So you can edit this or write your own, but then you can test that and see which gives you the best output. So that was a quick introduction to two new features. We hope they can easily slot into your existing AI workflows in capacities. And just to remind you of what we've already got, that can exist with the AI autofill that already works for text properties, which have the same toggle, and also for a description. If you have a description on any page, you'll also have the option for AI autofill. So anywhere you see this icon, AI can be used, and we hope that that gives you a really nice, easy way of working with your content in capacities. So that's everything for these latest AI additions into capacities. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, of course, please let us know in the comments below.